Welcome to Nova Racing Transmissions down in deepest, darkest Sussex, the home of the close ratio gearboxes for British Superbikes, World Superbikes, Moto3. Come and have a look inside and see what we do. This is Dan, one of our designers. He's currently measuring something on the CMM machine, an end cap for a scavenge pump. This machine is making sure that everything is correct to drawing. So when the parts came off, we take several out of a batch and make sure everything is accurate as per the drawing. Now, this office is the hub of the operation. Everything that comes into this company, from proposal to a design, is done in here. This is Michael, currently designing the selector forks. The drawings are produced in here, ready for the manufacturing. In the assembly room, we have two uh, BSB gearboxes being stripped and inspected for wear and analysis. We are looking for dog wear, any wear on the teeth, any dog damage. We're also looking to make improvements for every next batch, so any irregularities or any problems that have occurred. We have got one of our partners of the company's Young Sons Race Bikes. He's competing in the Fab Racing Series. Harvey Claridge leading the series at this moment in time and hopefully going to take the championship at the end of the year. Beautiful little 50cc two strokes, proper little race bike. Here we are at one of the first of the lathes. This is for soft turning, the first part of the process that prepares the gear ready for machining. First op's already done and now he has to spin it round to produce the second op and turn the material down. Now we're down to the milling, where they're taking the turned gears, ready to do pockets, dogs, engraving. So very important. Setup is so crucial, which is what Kyle is doing now. The gutty part of the job, deburring. Just get a little flick. All goes to the teeth. We got round here all the machining tools for the mills. As you can see, there's quite a lot of them to cope with everything from the gears you just saw being made to the selector forks that are halfway through and ready to go. Now we're to my best bit of the factory. This is where the teeth get cut onto the gears. As you can see now, every gear has to be clocked up individually before the teeth are cut to make sure it's concentric. As you can see, the gear is rotating anti-clockwise and the cutting will go in the opposite direction as it cuts. And Dan is doing a, a first time setup, so he's setting the cutter, lining it all up, ready to cut a gear for the first time. I was a changeover from a totally different gear. Now he has to set the depth of cut, the height of the cutter, the stroke. This is our horizontal hob. This is done for putting the splines on the shafts. This is our oldest machine at the moment, but still does an excellent job. Splines on everything from classic bikes to latest in British superbikes. And again, as in anything that we do, measurement is the key. And the most important thing with these splines is measurement. You don't want them too slack and you don't want them too tight. Here we've got selector drums that have been away for welding and hardening and now have to be hard turned to put them to the correct tolerance. Right here we've got an input shaft that has been hard turned. Now it has to be measured and then it's ready for sale. CB450 and Honda 500 twins ready for the six speed transmission for classic races, hopefully for the classic TT at the end of this year. All the gears here are the finished product from the machine shop waiting to go to heat treatment. So all of these gears fresh off the press as they say and once a week everything goes to a heat treatment company and we lose them for a week and await their return. This is a gear fresh back from heat treatment as you can see in a darkened state. The next process is super finishing. Super finishing is not a performance enhancement. It's to make sure that the oil sticks to the gear, so if you analyse the surface of the metal, it would look like the pores on your skin. Also, it allows you to look for any imperfections on a used gearbox much easier. The process is quite simple, overnight, in rotating in vibrating drums full of a medium, of which the end process has the gear looking like this.
here we have the stock room with all the finished products uh, ready for you to buy uh, from racing parts to classic parts uh, dry clutches dry sumps for higher booster engine cars this is what we do at Nova Racing we've been doing this for 25 years now and hopefully for 25 years to come here's one of our billet machine sump assemblies higher booster powered for the car boys here is one of our six-speed transmissions for a 1960s Triumph 5T. Everything machined in-house, bar bearings and bolts. Here we have one of our clutch baskets, hard anodized, so it shouldn't wear out. A turbo scavenge pump that we manufacture for the drag racing boys. Okay, here we've got our KTM Moto 3 transmission, so you go from the large things like the sumps and the big primary gears down to these tiny little dog ring gears ready for Moto 3 action. Here we have part of our ZX10 low inertia gearbox as we call it, the lighter, which has 5th out and 6th output gears, have their weight reduced dramatically for enabling a quicker shift due to the less rotational force being produced. The standard fifth output gear weighs twice as much as the gear you see on my left. The weight of the gear is instrumental in the selector having to be shifted in across, so the lighter the gear, the less force required to move the gear. You're not going to temp of a second off your shift, but in every lap, every tenth counts. Right, well my best selling products, believe it or not, are BSA Gold Star 5-speed transmissions. And my second best selling product has to be the Quad Honda TRX 450. Massive in America, Canada, a uh, little bit in Australia, but a huge seller, can't make enough of them. In the superbike world at the moment, it's BMW S1000R along with Kawasaki ZX10. Classic world, the new things on the development front, we do a dry clutch for the Honda 504, and by the end of the year we hope to have one for the little CB350, also the CB900 as I mentioned earlier, we do a dry clutch now for that, RG500 Gamma, dry clutch and six-speed transmission which has been a good seller for many years Well, I hope you enjoyed your tour of Nova Racing Transmissions. If you want any more information on our products, please check our website. And for the latest info on what's coming out next, please check our Facebook page. Thanks very much.